Hello, I normally don't make videos like this so please excuse the text-to-speech, but I think it is very important to spread awareness about this issue. As you may have heard, Soongin has left Rees after nearly a year-long hiatus. This situation is serious and I hope Rees and other fandoms can join together to support Soongin and Rees. As an introduction Rees debuted as seven members under SM Entertainment in September 2023. They are marketed as a relatable and authentic boy group even responding directly to fans through places like TikTok. Their concept has more of a nostalgic vibe and calls back to different eras. They are also marketed as a global group and have many international fans. So why has this happened? Soongin has been a victim of people invading his private life from when he was a teen and now a victim of bullying from Ot6 fans. There are two main reasons for all of the harassment towards Soongin. After he debuted, someone in his life posted private pictures exposing that he, one, had a girlfriend before he had debuted in Rees, and two, smoked a cigarette. I hope it's clear to everyone that these are not actions that warrant death threats. I personally am only a few months older than him and think it is so ridiculous that things normal for people our age would cause backlash. However, it did. After these leaks, there was a lot of hate and this caused a divide between Ot7 Breeze, who wanted them to continue as 7, and Ot6 Breeze who wanted him gone. After the protesting of Ot6 Breeze, SM Entertainment put him on hiatus for almost a year. Ot7 Breeze organized to boycott Reese in order to bring him back but SM made no effort to give us any updates on his hiatus or any lawsuits against the people who invaded Soong Han's privacy. Instead, they continued to erase Soong Han from the group by editing him out of videos where he should have appeared, and having Reese continue releasing music and promoting as six members. After 10 months, many Ot7 Breeze had continued boycotting Reese, some remaining hopeful that he would come back while others had given up. Then on October 11, 2020 for Korean time, while the rest of Rees was in Madrid, SM made an announcement with the opening to all Rees who love Rees saying that Soongin would return to the group in November. Later, Wonbin, another member, created a post clarifying that Soongin coming back was a decision made after much thought of the members and company. While Soongin had thought he should leave in order to not damage the group's reputation, the members had encouraged him to stay. With this announcement, the majority of Breeze were excited and showed their support, especially international fans. Other fandoms were also supportive, even if they were not fans of Reese. All the boycotting Breezes came out with support as well and refollowed Reese's social medias, including me. It seemed to me like this was a sign of a shift in K-pop, that companies would not kneel to delusional fans and instead protect their artists' privacy. Clearly this thinking was wrong. While the majority of the K-pop community was celebrating, the backlash also came again, this time stronger and louder. Soongin received hatred everywhere on the internet by people who wanted him to leave. Some even said they would continue this abuse until he left or died. Most notably, Korean Ot6 Breeze bought around 1,000 funeral wreaths and had them set up at the SM building. We also have a video of what appears to be Soongin walking along these wreaths. We know that he saw the hatred that he was getting. Less than two days later, as Rees members are on the plane heading back to Korea, SM makes another announcement saying that Soongin has left Rees. They said this was his decision to leave based on the opinions on the fans. From there, Ot7 Breeze have shown their support for Soongin and hatred towards SM for not protecting him or doing anything about Ot6 Breeze's actions. On the other hand, some Ot6 Breeze have turned on other members of Reese for having shown support for Soongin. After Reese landed in Korea, they were hiding their faces, not happily greeting fans like usual. Soonghan's fan bases are still planning to send support trucks that they first organized when SM announced his return. Other fandoms and non-fans have shown support to Soongin as well. By joining in with Breezy's hashtags against SM and spreading information about boycotting SM, these hashtags have been trending on Twitter and Reezy's following counts on social media have been dropping. If you would like to support Soongin and Reese, here are some things you can do to help. Unfollow Reese or block on all socials. Boycott Reese's music. Sign the petition to bring Soongin back. If you listen to other SM groups, boycott them as well in solidarity with Breeze. If you live in or are visiting Korea, please join Crybrise in their protests against SM's actions. Contact news sites in order to spread awareness about Soongin. Please do these things because SM's actions set the precedent for all idols. To be punished and removed for simply being human. Lastly, I have many thoughts on this situation and I would like to share them as catharsis. I am a Sohee biased 7 Breeze. Still in my time as a breeze it was. 
one member getting hate after another. Hate from chronically online nuts, mostly. SM has never stood their ground when it came to them. They have proven themselves to only care about the opinion of miserable ka fans who do nothing but hate. They changed the light stick so quickly when these fans hated it, and nothing for months when international fans wanted Soongin back. I think there must be a change in marketing from SM. We know they do not care about the opinions of us or Ree's members, so they should stop trying to sell them as authentic or global when SM's actions do not match. I feel for the rest of Ree's. SM's actions are turning away fans who waited almost a year for them to be a complete group. I am so sorry that they are left with a fandom who turns on them for supporting their friend and brother. I can't imagine having to do fan service for someone who did this to their friend who they love. I feel for Soong and being alone during this. Reese was not in Korea when SM announced he was coming back. Then when they announced he was leaving, the rest of Reese was literally on a plane in the air coming back to Korea. So through this he did not have the support of his members. I wonder if things could be different if he had been with them or if he had actually been protected against the hate by SM. I feel for Ot7 Breeze and especially those who have been supporting him and the members since they were trainees and were in NCT. Whatever you are feeling is okay and we are in this together. I am trying not to dwell on theories, because really I don't know. But a part of me feels like him coming back was a false promise that SM always planned to rip away from us with the backlash as an excuse. I hope it's not true. I just wish all of this had not happened so Reese and Breeze could always be complete. I also want to say that I've seen a lot of hate towards Crybrise in general which I think is not okay. The problem is Ot6 fans, it is not okay to generalize the fans of an entire country. There are many Ot7 Crybrise who are fighting for Soongin and we should support in their efforts. I want to thank them along with all Ot7 international fans who have been showing their support. Reese is 7 always.